Hi, my name is Andreas Tegebo. I'm a principal engineer for the IO system and industrial networks at ABB Robotics in Västerås, Sweden. Today I will present the ABB's new safe scalable IO and how easy it is to configure in RoboStudio. Let's get started. ABB's new safe scalable IO provides 12 safe digital inputs and 4 safe digital outputs, all operating in dual channel pairs to control and monitor various machine safety products. The safe scalable IO is configured in the same way as the non-safe scalable IO, with just a few clicks in RoboStudio. The new device can handle up to four non-safe add-on modules, the same add-ons that are used for the non-safe scalable I.O. With the safe scalable I.O., ABB introduces a brand new safe digital coupler, supporting the use up to eight safe digital couplers connected to one robot controller. ABB's safe scalable I.O. provides safety category according to the ISO standard 13849-1 up to category rating 3 and performance level according to the ISO standard 13849-1 up to performance level E. ABB's Robotware 7.5 provides software support for the safe scalable IO device. This is how you configure safe scalable IO in RoboStudio. In the lower right corner you can see a view of the safe digital coupler. Here we can see the dual channel configuration for the digital inputs and digital outputs. That means we use two signal connectors to be able to change a logical signal. As you see, the LEDs are blinking red, meaning that the device is not yet configured. Once an Ethernet cable is connected between the device and the robot controller, an action bar appears in RoboStudio. Click to configure the device. The configuration window provides general information about the device. Here, the device name and signal names are assigned. Click the OK button to add the configuration to the safety report. The signals are now visible in the safety report. Click right to controller to add the configuration into the robot controller safety system. The safe scalable IO is now configured. The next step is to add some functional safety configuration in visual safe mode to show that we can change signals. Visual safe mode now presents all the created signals. Remember, the signals are used in pairs, DI1 together with DI2, etc. As an example, let's add two logical expressions to see that we can get a signal change through the safety system on the robot controller to the device and back to the safety system. I use the safety enable signal to affect the two signals DO3 and DO4 due to the dual channel to be able to receive a signal change on the device. A new write to the controller is needed and the logical expressions has now been added to the safety report. The configuration is then downloaded to the safety system and the robot controller is rebooted for the changes to take effect. We can see that the device has accepted the configuration and the signals has been set, since the LEDs are solid green. The digital outputs has been set by the safety system and the digital inputs has been set by the physical cross connections. I hope this was informative. 
thanks for watching.